In today's video, we're going to talk about the story mapping framework, why you should use it, and how it works. What's up everybody, Helena here from Air Focus, the product management tool that enables you to confidently prioritize what to work on next, build and share clear roadmaps, and collaborate on strategy. Let's start out today's video by explaining what story mapping is and what a story map looks like. Story mapping is a widely used method of ordering your user stories along different dimensions to provide a big picture of how they fit within the overall user experience. This map arranges the essential steps of the customer's journey on the horizontal axis in chronological order, guided by how the user would perform the said tasks in their interaction with the product. The vertical axis describes criticality or necessity, and different user stories are therefore arranged vertically, top to bottom, based on importance. As you can see in this example, our top three main features are on the top of the vertical axis, since these are the three most important ones and their order on the horizontal axis represents the chronological order of when the users interact with these features. This allows you to map the flow of their behavior as they progress from their first interaction through to the last step of their objective with your product. This type of backlog organization has quite a few advantages when it comes to prioritization and execution of your product. Firstly, it is a visual tool that allows stakeholders, your development team, and clients to get a full picture of how users are interacting with the product. This big picture will help identify issues or gaps that you might have previously overlooked. Secondly, when it comes to prioritization, this framework provides teams with valuable insights as to how to release product iterations with increasing sophistication. By defining these, the team is empowered to complete and deliver end-to-end -end versions more quickly, allowing you to rapidly validate concepts. Last but not least, you can apply it to any stage of your product lifecycle. For MVPs, it'll allow you to pinpoint what the minimum functionality should be in order to test and validate the concept. Placing yourself in your customer's shoes will prevent you from overlooking certain aspects of the user experience. Now that we've looked over the benefits of using the story mapping framework, let's dive into how story mapping works. Story mapping could start as simple as grabbing a whiteboard and some sticky notes. You should start by outlining the problem that you are trying to solve with your product and how your product will help the users. This will allow you to set a starting point for mapping your customer's goals. It will also allow you to always keep in mind the user's perspective in all interactions. The second step is intuitive. Trace your target audience's activities. You'll likely have more than one buyer persona, and different audiences expect different outcomes when interacting with your product. Taking this into consideration, the team will be able to create a common understanding of each target audience and their point of view to then build stories from. Said users will engage with your product in a similar way, likely with a set or series of common activities, also known as themes. These activities will now create a backbone for the story map. The activities will also be the steps of your sequence, and you'll have to arrange them with smaller steps under each one. For example, some of your main steps could be registering as a new user or going through the checkout flow when completing a purchase. These will create your sequence at the very top and will be broken down into smaller user stories within each one. Your user stories will start getting mapped to your activities and different scenarios will arise as you walk in the shoes of your user. To find these scenarios, you can ask yourself questions like, how do I get rid of items in my cart? Or what happens if I add a product to my favorites without being signed in? Once you have your user stories, you'll have to prioritize them and that's when the vertical axis comes in handy. You'll simply arrange them in hierarchical order with the most important ones at the top. This can get messy when you have numerous types of users and you'll therefore want to map separate scenarios. But the idea is to be able to agree on which stories are crucial and which are less important when it comes to delighting your audience. And there you have it, an actionable step-by-step -step guide for how you can use the story mapping framework. If you want to take full advantage of the story mapping framework, you can use a prioritization tool like AirFocus with a built-in prioritization matrix. AirFocus enables you to visually map out your priorities on a chart and transform your priorities into an actionable roadmap at the click of a button. If you want to learn more about the story mapping framework and other amazing prioritization frameworks, you can check out our ebook on mastering prioritization. The links to AirFocus in the ebook are in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments section and make sure you subscribe so that you can be notified of our new actionable guides and tutorials. And of course, until next time, happy planning. Thank you